To study seal habitat, ecologist Dr. Frank Parrish needed to know what was going on beyond the beach. On an earlier mission, he turned to National Geographic's Critter Cam. Critter Cam is a recording device. Once attached to an animal, it records its every move. This gave us the opportunity to basically follow the seal into the water. And we found some pretty exciting things. We found that they were going right offshore and they were sleeping. 50% of the time that they're away from the beach, they weren't eating, they were sleeping. That was, that was a shock. Frank had no idea how deep the riddle of monk seal life was about to get. The seals headed into the murky depths, too dark for the camera to see. Here's 700, I would start around five. But satellite tags showed the seals clustering over one specific location. Frank and other experts joined the University of Hawaii to investigate. In a deep sea submarine, they plunge into darkness, down an incredible 1,600 feet. That is pretty much barren, it's boring. There's not much to see. Suddenly. Oh, what's that? It's oh, look at that. There's life. That is a big tree. We came to these things that were sticking up. They were kind of like pinnacles off the bottom. And then they were completely encrusted with these big, beautiful gold corals. You got down there and you were looking at what the seals were feeding at. Here, fish can't hide from seals in the coral. They're easier to catch. Open bottom, sand, places with loose rock that they could flip over. I mean, they're finding habitats that they can get at the fish. Then, on a follow-up dive, proof positive. Whoa, what's that? That's a monk seal. Oh my God. No way. Oh, look at A monk seal at the bottom of the world, foraging for food. This discovery radically changes the way scientists must view where seals live. Their habitat must be protected beyond the beaches, beyond the shallow corals. <laughs> 